Hi everyone, Gina here with a quick and easy layout today. I'm using the Day 8 sketch from Christie's Beautiful Life. Again, as I've been doing, I will link her videos down below. I cut this paper. I'm using this L Studio You and Me paper uh, as my background. And then as you can see, that cut file of the hearts there is a cut file that Shelly designed and I cut out. And I'm using my scraps, my red scraps, to back this paper. I'm actually going to use two different pattern papers on this layout, so I want props for that. Because um, you guys know mixing pattern paper is not uh, my, <laughs> my cup of tea. I'm just not that good at it. Now, I'm not even sure these pattern papers go together, but they looked good to me. So I'm going to, this turns out to be a very quick layout because mostly it's, just highlighting that cut file in the back. So I'm going to use three, oh, three different uh, pattern papers. So more props to me. So I'm just going to paste these down and you can see the sketch off to there. The sketch used stars, but I'm going to use hearts because I had this crazy picture of Stu. He's a nutcase. Um, <laughs> he's just so, I don't even know how to explain this man. So I'm going to take my uh, hearts and I'm going to use spray adhesive on the back of them. So that's where I went off to do, because you have to do that in a very, uh, where there's a lot of airflow. And so I took that off of there and I came back and I'm going to place that on that back uh, chalky kind of layout that's there. And then I'm going to put my cluster, my photo cluster down. And then I had these resin hearts left over from a uh, freckled fawn kit I think and so I really wanted to use those so I'm just gonna put those four I only have four I wish I had five because the heart on the right side there looks a little empty once I put these down but I'm gonna put my journaling there so it's not gonna be that bad so I'm just gonna use Tombow Mono multi glue to put these resin hearts down and I really like the way they look and I really like this way this layout turned out even though it's a very uh it was very easy it took a total of 15 minutes to make this layout and anytime i can make a layout in that amount of time that i really like i'm happy with so i wanted to use some of these pebbles hearts and i have two sets of pebbles hearts these here these accordion looking hearts and then i have these other just enamel kind of hearts and so I want to bring some of the white in with the hearts. So I'm going to go ahead and put, a, 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 these are puffy hearts from um, the paper studio from Hobby Lobby. And so I'm going to use those in each of the hearts. And then I'm going to use white hearts to go up a, and sort of float up the side of the photograph. And then I'm also going to put two white hearts next to each of the foam hearts in each there's a lot of hearts. I'm saying hearts a lot in this, but it is, there are a lot of hearts on this layout. So I'm using some white ones inside each of the um, larger ones. And to be honest with you, I'm going to add my journaling. I'm going to add a title. So the word love is already on the paper. So I'm going to grab some sparkly thickers in red and I'm going to put my right above that so that the title of the layout becomes my love. And, you know, thickers don't stick, so I've got to glue that down. So the title becomes My Love. And then as you can see, that heart on the right side really um, is missing something. So I end up putting my journaling up there using a uniball pen. And then this is a final look at the layout. So I'm very happy with it. I'm glad it didn't take that long. And I'm glad of Christy's sketch because that totally helped me to just get this crazy photo of Stu scrapbooked. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.